Hello and welcome back everybody. As you can see, uh, I've done a little bit of stuff again off camera. I know, uh, it's addicting, but you just kind of start rolling, you start auto crafting things and away you go. So I ultimately uh, decided that I needed to start an MV line over here. I, I hesitated so bad with this decision as we are into HV circuits, right? And you know, I built a few of those as well uh kind of just bolstering our roster to say the least um but i kind of decided no we need this we need this we need to be making canthal dust we need to be making stainless steel dust automatically um, we need to be making rubber rings i was crafting those still manually uh steel rings are needed now for the uh not the capacitors but the the one with the hole um, all of our routers, right? Tin, bronze, and steel. And then also stainless steel, right? So I got into, okay, we automated the dust. Let's get a EBF set up with stainless steel. Let's get an EBF set up with Canthal uh, processing. And then I also automated our polyethylene, right? These are things that I just hadn't done for a while and I really needed to do. Um, the other thing that we automated, I did gravel into stone dust. I got Certus Quartz plates. Um, we got stainless steel small gears. We have uh, over here, I've automated my annealed copper. Uh, we have quite the buffer there. And I automated liquid rubber into rubber bars as well. And I'll probably also do liquid rubber into a tank as I don't have that yet. And it can be easily done. But yeah, so this one comes down, a pump transfers it over, and it gets solidified into bars. We need the bars for the rings. You can't use plates, so that's a thing. Um, I This is our polyethylene, right? Just from an ender tank into that and then into our system. Uh, I automated uh, stainless steel plates. I automated gold plates and in-bar plates. Um, equally, all of the rods, we have stainless steel rods now. We have invar rods and bronze rods, all automated. And then on the back side here, I automated bolts through cutting machines and diamond plates. Uh, again, pretty easy setup. Diamonds with just an infinity water source on the front. Nothing too complicated there. And then from the bolts, I automated the screws that we need for those pumps as well. So... Lots of just little, um, small but massively incremental gains uh, in the automation department. Um, I got another loot fabricator for emeralds. As you can see, we have chrome. We have 440 stainless steel beyond what's out there in the system and almost 1,100 canthal. So very good, very good uh, for the most part on everything here. Um... Let's see. I changed this up a little bit, and I actually recommend this if you're watching and you decide to start fresh at this point in time. I would recommend doing two separate barrels for the output of the quartz sand, the quartzite with a void, and the Certus Quartz dust down here, because Certus Quartz dust with an upgrade, we're going to need a lot more of that than we'll ever need of the quartzite, at least as far as I'm aware for now. Um, also on that point, I did another addition to this little LV setup over here. And let's take a look at that as well. Um, is I did from the gravel to stone dust, just like normal through a macerator. And then over into a mixer with clay dust. Okay. Uh, this is generating us concrete. So let's jump over there. And you can see that we have a super tank of concrete starting to come. Very good, very good. Uh, expansion of the basement over there. And for the most part, everything's looking pretty good here. We're actually starting to build up some chlorine now because our vinyl chloride finally backed up. And everything else is looking pretty solid. Um, with the stone dust, as you can see, I've fleshed this out a little bit further. But with the stone dust now, we're actually gaining stone dust and we're centrifuging it. And so far, all I've done is the biotite output, which is giving us the magnesium and potassium, but also the fluorine. Okay, so 
we're starting to gain some very minimal gains in fluorine as well. The drilling rig that we set up lasted about a day on the server. Um, so I just converted it to a pump. Um, not ideal, uh, but we're now just pumping the nether. And it seems to be working quite a bit better. So these guys, uh, the output from the centrifuges goes into these drawers, which gets put into these packagers. And then the output comes up here to these, okay? Then the tantalite, which is this one here, gets processed. And that gives you uh, manganese and tantalum dust. And then, of course, with the biotite and the magnesia, we are getting magnesium dust. Then, there's a lot of quests uh, involved in this process, but I set up the system with the phosphorus, um, the phosphorus pentoxide, uh, going into phosphorus uh, acid, which gets pumped into this setup here with redstone, glowstone, and aluminium. And that will give you luminescence, okay? Luminescence, again, my hold up here is the phosphoric acid, but you get quite a bit of it per phosphoric acid. So now we have luminescence. Pretty straightforward. You all with me? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Everything else is working really, really well. All automation's working good. I've been configuring some things with the item conduits and stuff like that and i've done some upgrades here as well the pattern expansion cards for the emmy interfaces and as you can see i've been bolstering the auto crafting to say the least we got some acceleration cards as well in the molecular assemblers and i've expanded on my auto crafting uh computers i think that's it I think that's all I really did. But, oh no, that's not all. That's not all. I also went into some extra utilities. Nothing too crazy. Just a small little setup so that we're prepared for later. Uh, again, just following those few little steps. Um, water mills, in case you're unaware, they gain power like this. As you place down the fifth one, you start to get an efficiency loss. So after four of any mill, you start to lose some efficiency, okay? So, that brings us to, we completed the entirety of the beginning. That's two check marks on our docket, which is fantastic. Uh, I did make a 16K, I made all of the fluid storage cells as well. I haven't utilized them, but I've made them, okay? Um, we got the interface terminal, I made the interface configuration terminal, that pattern expansion card, and the P2P tunnels, just to have as much done on here as I possibly can. And as you can see, we are currently maxed out. I cannot get this one as it requires an EV tier of circuit. All right, early game. Uh, I did go in, I built the nature's compass, and I did build the multi-spelter. It wasn't too complicated, uh, so we got that guy done as well. And into the microverse, here's our luminescence right there. Very good. And here was all of our extra utility stuff. Uh, that's just telling you about it. The resonator into GP generation, which is stone burnt and red coal into black steel dust okay black steel dust is actually the red coal with a void crystal black bronze dust and steel dust and i have that in my inventory right here okay very good so we've progressed pretty good here oh that's the other thing i did i made travel anchors everywhere that's fun and i actually want to add another one and then i did make the vat and some fire water now, that one here, not too complicated of a system. I just did it manually. I manually inputted things and we got some fire water. Now, where did we put that? Well, let's go take a look at our setup down in the basement. There we go. I should actually do, um, I think I have another travel anchor. 
Can I just do this? And let's name it, uh, base, uh, uh, what should we name this? What should we name this? Oh no, oh no, I'm panicking, I'm panicking, fine. Uh, let's just name this, uh, cave, that's fine. Okay, good. So that should allow us to get up and down faster. All right, so as you can see, we have fire water down on the ground with a vacuum chest and an ender chest that is full of infinity factory. So every once in a while, they'll pop, as you just saw, and that gets us our infinity dust. So if I go up to thermal of fluids, I can show you all quickly that I have grains of infinity for an entire ender chest sitting there waiting for me. So very nice setup, very good. Uh, there's a few more things that we can do with that as we go as well. And then in the end game, I think I just got some ingots and stuff. Solarium. I just kind of checked off a few boxes here. Manganese. Uh, was there anything else? I think that's it. Okay, very good. Oh, and we completed the processing line. So that's three check marks, ultimately. That's pretty awesome. Not going to lie. That's a lot that was done. I apologize that I did so much off camera, but a lot of it's the nitty gritty work stuff. And I really don't feel that it makes the best videos. So just, just as a reference, all right? Can I see the cave from up here? No, I can't. Oh, I can see it with this though. That's interesting. So like this, I can't, but with this, I can. Okay, good to know. Anyway, anyways, 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 on to our projects for today. So we have our, a lot of different things that we want to build. One of those things is our HB assembly machine, okay? I've set it up to AutoCraft because why the heck not? Yeah, this is part of the process and everything that we saw down in the auto crafting to build ourselves our own HV assembling machine, okay? That's an entire quest that I just auto crafted. How wonderful is that? Uh, it's absolutely amazing to say the least. So that's a huge little step into this whole thing that unlocks a few different items like the HV energy hatch which would be quite nice to potentially upgrade these all to HV in the near future. But it also just allows us to make other things, right? We need this to make other items in this whole scheme of everything. So let's grab that as well. And we'll have to set that up downstairs, at least for now, uh, on our HV line. But... Not too shabby. Very nice. Simple, easy to get. The other thing that I wanted to look at getting is some of these components. So advanced components with the luminescence black steel plates. Okay. So these all require those black steel plates. All right. So that tells me that I really need to automate that setup. But at least for now, let's get... We'll do five black steel plates to get that going uh you know what actually let's do let's do another one let's do six for some unknown reason um that should work out well and then glowstone plates though i do not have that one either so that's a cutting saw of the glowstone all right we can do that let's take 16 for right now and we will, I will set up that automation as well uh, in the near future. So we'll need to automate black steel, right? Black steel, I think we automate through the dust, which is, yeah, all of that. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a fun one. I don't know if I can truly automate that one, but that's okay. The other thing that I wouldn't mind uh, seeing if we can't do a little bit more of is... Finishing up these guys. So Wither and Ender Dragon. Well, it just so happens I do have a craftable Nether Star here. 
So all of this is nether quartz with the different dusts. And then this guy here is your block of luminescence. So we can actually get ourselves a nether star. Very nice. Uh, so with that nether star, we can now get a wither. One, two. Very good. Let's get our wither. Oh man, 6,666 6, RF per tick for that bad boy. I don't even know what it gets me. Probably gets me nether stars, right? Nope, it doesn't even get you that. It gets you wither, weather realm, wither bone, drop of evil. I don't know what to do with most of that. Uh, wither bone. Well, that requires for like end game level stuff. Okay. And what else? Well, drops of evil. Okay. That gets you the le cursed lasso and you can use it on the uh, ground and stuff like that. Okay. And the other one I want to get is the ender dragon. Now we need this dragon layer. Uh, so I did get some impossible realms, which is good. Uh, impossible realms are actually really easy to get. You can get them through solidified experience or through an enderman matter. So not too complicated. And boom, there's our ender dragon. Nice. So that should complete that as well. Oh my lord, that was 10 coins of 25. That's crazy. And of course it starts raining. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? We love the rain. We're also getting to a point where, you know, it's time to... Wait, what? That's an electrum plate. So it's an electrum plate and a glowstone plate. Noted. <laughs> Noted. Uh, let's just get some of those going then. So I need to automate electrum plates and glowstone plates. Good to know. All right. They look so similar. It's not even funny. All right. There is an advanced component. Very nice. We'll send that back. That's good. And then let's do the ultimate emerald and uranium. Well, I can't do that one. I do not have uranium 235. Um, don't even know how to get uranium 235 at this point in time. So we can't do that one. Uh, the elite aluminium and ender pearl. Yeah, we can do that one. Okay. So ender pearl plate, I assume, is cutting saw with a block. No problem. No problemo. Let's take out that. Let's put in that. And we'll get this guy done as well. So at least a couple of catalysts that we can get, which is kind of cool, to be blunt. Uh, I never built these before. So that's going to give us the elite. And what's this advanced? So that's advanced component. Oh, okay. I made the component to get the catalyst. So I need four of those. Okay, that's not too bad. We can do that very easily. All right. We got this. We got that. Let's go crazy. We got our elite component now. So now we need to get three more of these. One. Uh, two and three, two, and why is it not? Oh, because it's black steel. That's right. That's in my inventory. Okay, good. And then this around another black steel plate. Okay. So yeah, the black steel is going to be a concern. All right, good. Another one done. That does open up the advanced extending cr extended crafting table. That could be something that we look into. Um, oh wow, I have everything that I need for it. I think, yeah, I can actually make this. Okay, give me a f minute, because I got to get some more black steel. And uh, once I get that, we can, we can go crazy here. All right, I'm... 
still making some uh, black steel, uh, but I also am working on the uh, energy hatch over here, right? So uh, nothing too, too crazy, but at the same time, crazy. Uh, luckily, I do have some stuff auto-crafted, which is very nice, uh, so that we can, you know, take and pillage and whatnot. And I think I also need this new cutting machine. Yes, indeed. Um, and we'll just... Oh, man, I'm telling you, I need to get more, uh... need to get more wiring down here. That's crazy. All right, vibrant. Nope, not cybrant. Vibrant. There we go. Excellent. Let's get some more uh, 16x vibrant alloy wire, which is very nice for the HV setup, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, we're just going to all the way down, like so. All right. Uh, let's get our cutting machine down. Excellent. Uh, in the mean, for right now, because... I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I'll deal with it later. <laughs> my life story. Uh, as so many people are probably like freaking out, like, oh my God, you cannot just deal with it later in Noma Factory. What, 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 what am I missing? A thousand? HV? It requires a clean room. Well, we're not getting that. <laughs> We are not getting that one. All right. Uh, yeah, so I guess we can't get that energy hatch at all. Because um, it requires a clean room. This LPIC, it all requires a clean room. We don't have one of those. We don't have that. All right, black steel, though. We got some black steel. That that feels nice. That feels good. Uh, I doubled that up, by the way. So, just in case you all were wondering. Um, and this needs to go through an EBF medium voltage. Uh, all of our EBFs are kind of full right now. Not going to lie. Maybe we could process it through this one. Huzzah! Go. And it's better than it sounds. Just gonna delete those and that. I don't care. <laughs> I can make more. It's fine. It's fine. Um, to, even to make that thing, I had to go and buy Topaz. I'm so upset that I missed that clean room uh, note. Ah, it's so annoying. So frustrating. Look at all that black steel, though. That's good. This is good. Uh, we're definitely going to need a lot of this, and I'm glad that it makes a lot of it. That's really, really nice to see. Um, okay, that needs to come out so that we have an available output slot. No, can we, can we just, can we just not do this, please? Can we just, this is MV, right? This is HV. Yeah, okay, good. There, make what I want to make. All right, so that'll get us our black steel. Yeah, we're not going to be getting that other stuff, to say the least. Okay, I do still have three on me, though. So let's at least put these into plate form and get that ready to go. Um, we can at least make a few more of the catalysts. I would like to get this table. Let's get this table. Why not? What are we missing? All of that. Perfect. Okay. Let's get a few of these. Uh, one, two, one, two. Very nice. Okay, a couple of advanced components. Excellent. Um, we need one more of those. And then we need these basic components, which is black steel plates, nether quartz plate. So we do not have the nether quartz plate. That's good to know. And what else do we need? Iron plate. Okay, so we have that. So all we need is a nether quartz plate. And I think we don't even have... Do we even have nether quartz blocks somewhere? I still have, like, random stuff everywhere. 
Um, let's see. Cutting saw block of quartz. Is there a way to pull this off otherwise? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. Let's just get ourselves 64 of you in like you. Perfect. And we will get these in the cutting saw to get cut up. We should get lots out of that. So no big deal there. Let's go take a quick gander and pull out some of our black steel. Luckily, it seems to process very quickly. So that's good. So we need 5, 10, 11. 11 total, I think, to get this done. Along with these uh, quartz plates. So that should be enough at that point in time to get ourselves the... Hopefully, the extended crafting table here. That would be cool to play around with. I've never made one, and I am very excited to give it a try. I guess let's just put all of this in here to make this a little bit easier on ourselves. Okay, one more of you. Good. We'll just put all of that in there. Fine. And then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you. I don't know... Uh, let's just, uh, put it in our inventory quickly. I don't think there's a quest for it, though, if I recall. Uh, I don't see a basic here, so. But you never know, just in case. Maybe to end the future, it'll yell at us and want something, so. Alright, extended crafting table, get. Let's go. Let's go. That's fun. I don't know what it does, but it's fun. Actually, I do know one thing that it does. I do know one thing that it does do. Uh, it crafts. <laughs> Aren't I funny? Um, no, it's it's got a lot of different things. Uh, obviously, a lot of bigger crafting, basically. But one of the biggest things that it does have is... Oh, obsidian stuff. Okay. Uh, oh, emerald helmets, okay. Emerald gear, very nice. Emerald sword, guardian sword. That's fun. Uh, the ultimate helmet. The ultimate helmet middle. Oh boy, that's, that's a big old helmet. Uh, so all this ultimate armor, that's good. Uh, you can make the soul binder. That's an important one when we get there. Ooh, the angel ring. creative flight anyone that does sound pretty good i think i have two of these jetpacks all no i don't do i do i i might have those two jetpacks already uh i have reinforced okay uh hello i have the reinforced but uh do i have uh let's just do this so, Vibrant. I don't think I've made the Vibrant one, unless it's in my bag. I have Energetic, but I have not made a Vibrant. Okay. So, we need two of those, and then all of this rose gold. This might be a goal of mine. This might just be a goal here. Uh, MV. Okay, we can make this. Gold and Copper. For five. Gold and copper for five, and we need six, twelve. Okay, uh, let me, let me, I'm working on this. We're working on it. Uh, the classic, you get too far ahead of yourself moment. Indeed. I definitely got a little too far ahead of myself here. Um, we cannot build this, because we need to get the soul binder to do so, because we need a precious prescient crystal to make the vibrant jetpack and without the soul binder we can't do that and to get the soul binder we need a tungsten steel plate to get the tungsten steel plate we need a tungsten steel ingot which is a vacuum freezed hot tungsten steel which we don't have the vacuum freezer and then you also need the tungsten steel dust which we don't have tungsten dust which means we got a long ways to go, <laughs> to say the least. 
Uh, yeah, there's just a little ways to go before we can do all of that. But I am very happy to say that at least we did progress. That's very cool. I'm very excited about that progression. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, time and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's exciting. We're getting some more black steel, which is really, really good, um, in my opinion. And then that will be very helpful uh, in the future when making these catalysts. It's just a matter of time. All right. So uh, we got some black steel. That's good. We got some other things, which is good. We're going to need more EBFs. I've decided that, right? So we'll need one for black steel eventually. We'll need one for um, probably rose gold, probably this, probably that. So I'm sure there's plenty that we will need to get done. Um, and crop, they're just getting all the things. Interface, nice. Good achievements, for sure. Good achievements. So, yeah, a little stuck there. We can't quite get to that next step uh, on that goal, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. We could go to the end. That's that's a thing that we could do. But I do really want to go back. And now is probably a good time. Because we're stuck on that clean room. We probably should look towards that. So let me see uh, where we're at in the video. Let me see how much time we have. And see if this is... A good idea, or a good possibility, or not. Alright, I decided, let's go for it anyways. Why not? So, Plascrete, we need steel frame box. No, that's not what I needed. Steel frame box. Uh, I think I'm going to need more than this. Let's make eight more, uh, just for now. That's good. And we need those plus polyethylene sheets with concrete. Ah, now you see. Now you see why I do things ahead of time. <laughs> All right, those go into what? MV Assembler. Okay, MV Assembler. Like so, and let's go and get ourselves. Uh, okay, good. I have one of these. Excellent. Let's go and get some concrete. Very nice. Let's go over here and let's put in our concrete. Look at us go. All right, so that's getting that set up. It says I need 44 of them. I probably need more than that. But in the meantime, let's build our filters. Actually, let's build our clean room first. Boom, clean room. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Uh, let's build our filters next. So I'm going to need more of you. No problem. We'll just craft them. I'm also going to need more item filters, I think. How many of these filters do I need? I need at least eight. Uh, so that is... I think I have three more item filters, but I need three, six, nine more of these. So nine more of those, that's eight more zinc oh that's expensive that part's expensive to say the least uh zinc is still one of those items that i don't really have a completely strong handle on uh if you know what i mean so yeah uh let's get some more poly plates or sheets i should say uh because we're gonna need them to make more of the plascrete as well okay Let's get our zinc foils done. Yeah, we're going for it. We're going for it. We're in this together. This is your fault, everyone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. All right, item filters. Uh, we'll just throw those in there, and boom, nine more. Excellent. Okay, filter casings. One, two, three, four. Nice. That's eight of them. Excellent. And then all we're waiting now is on the Plascrete itself, uh, which is coming along quite nicely. I'm so glad that I made that concrete. Wow, who would have known that I would have needed that for today's episode? Whew. I tell you, I'm just so lucky. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. All right. I think we're making the rose gold. That's cool. We did end up with 277 black steel, which is pretty darn good. I'm very happy with that. So that gives us a lot of black steel to work with, which is really, really nice um, for the future plans. Uh, obviously, you know, we've used some stainless today. Um, our canthal hopefully will max out at some point here. We don't need too much more of it. I definitely want to push to get that vacuum chest, I think. Uh, so this clean room, and then also in the, uh, not that one, mid-game, this vacuum freezer. So for that, we're going to need the tier four circuit, which requires the clean room. So that is definitely our goals, is to get this guy right here. Uh, and first step is to build and complete this clean room, which I think we should be good to go. Having a bigger one's not the worst, but it does require a lot more stuff. I'm not opposed to having some extra plascrete around, to say the least, because I know we will use it eventually one day um, as these clean rooms. Well, you guys saw downstairs, we need the cutting machine, the cutting saw to fit in one of them, right? So, so that's a thing right and many other things as well so last one yes clean room get okay beautiful so the clean room is a hollow multi-block free of contaminants going forward most new circuit related recipes as well as some unique things like fusion casings will need to be ran through this setup um you know, uh, doesn't require as much maintenance. They kind of nerfed that a little bit, which is good. Uh, it must be well maintained and powered for a while to clean the inside. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. How am I going to do this? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, also, don't we need like... We need like energy hatches and stuff, right? I'm pretty sure we do. Energy hatch. I think we can just use regular. Yeah, so we should probably get ourselves a couple of MV energy hatches. Um, iron door. And then we need fluid pass-through hatches. Item and fluid. And then... Allows energy flow in one direction and limits amperages. Do we need that? I guess we do, right? So we need a lot of stuff here. We need a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, okay. So we need this guy. Oh, oh whoops. Uh, make, please. Yeah, go back. We need a uh, high voltage diode. I don't think I can make that at the moment. No, I cannot. We need uh, an energy hatch of sorts. We need an item pass through. Uh, probably going to do an MV. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of things. That's a lot of things. Okay, let's do MV energy hatch. And let's craft two of those. We're missing stuff. That's a problem. Okay, let's to the item pass through. Wow, that's like HB stuff. Okay, let's make two of those. Uh, let's get this again. Let's make two of those. I'm guessing I'll need two. I don't know for sure. Small steel gears. I don't have small steel gears. Oh boy. Well, you know what this means, friends. This seems like a perfect opportunity to call it quits <laughs> on today. Um, it's it's good. It's all good. Don't don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, we got a few things that we need to probably look at and address uh, and build for this clean room. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to plan to. Uh, build the clean room next episode. So that's going to be it for now.
thank you all so much. I really do appreciate you all. And uh, have yourselves a good one. Very nice. We got that. That's good. Blue and pass through the pump.